Today we will learn how to query for rows that have the same values for two columns. For that, we need to create a table. I've already written the code here to save the time. It's always a good idea to use the name of the database. Then that's the syntax, create table, name of the table, and there are three columns we, that will go into this table. First one is ID, data type is integer, sport is NYCHAR and country is NYCHAR again. Then we are going to insert the rows into our newly created table and we are going to insert these many rows in there. First one is ID, second one is name of the sport and the third one is the country. If you want to learn more how to create the table or make changes to the table, you can watch our SQL series and you will learn um, all about it. Right, simply execute that code and there are 18 rows affected, the table is created. Click the database, refresh it, and then under table, we have our newly created sports table there. Right, okay. So, it's always a good idea to always start with the name of the database. Then we are going to see what have we got in our table select all from name of the database then name of the schema and after schema provide the name of the table sports right okay so if we run that we have three columns id column sport column and country column and there are 18 rows in this table right okay so we need to find the duplicates so select copy the name of the table and then start typing the name of the columns first one is sport second one is country Right, okay. So we have excluded ID and only looking at these two columns for the time being, sport and country. So the next thing we need to do is we need to use a function called count. And we are going to count all, all the rows. And we can give a alias name as duplicates. Right, okay. So to run the count, we would need to do group by. If you, if you want to learn more about the functions, we have covered this in our SQL series. Uh, sport and the second column is country. Okay, so if we simply run that and you can see it shows how many duplicates are there. So football is there. Football Brazil, number four, there are two duplicates. So it has come twice. Uh, this one is also a duplicate. And there, there you go, another one. Right, so just to identify the duplicates, we can use having count all. And which one we need to look at? only where it is greater than one. So if we just run that now, these are our duplicates. So if you want to find out the only the duplicate rows in your data, this is how you do. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.